we do this. In your school? Yeah. In your school? Yeah. In your school, you are telling? Okay, 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 okay. okay. We can Wait. start from here. Okay, okay. We have to start from here? Yeah. Okay. So, a change of state. So, before that, I want to ask you, what are the three states of matter? Can you tell me? Solid, liquid and gas. Uh, solid, liquid and gas. Very good. In that, one thing can be changed into another, isn't it? That is called a change of state. Right? Okay. So, there are three states of matter. Solid, liquid and gas. Right? Yeah. Okay. These are three states of matter. How will you define matter? How will you define matter once again? How will you define matter? Uh, ma matter is a... That is, matter is anything that occupies space, right? Anything that occupies space, okay? Yeah. Okay. Can you give an example? Uh, matter, uh, cube. Cube. So, Which cube? A, wood, a wooden cube. Which cube? Wooden cube. Oh, wooden cube, wooden cube. Okay, very good. Okay. So that will occupy a space, right? Mm. Yes, that will occupy a space, right? Okay, so, so anything that occupies space is called a matter, right? Yeah. Okay, this matter is got the three forms. What we have discussed is solid, liquid, and gas. In that, okay. Okay, in that, we can convert solid into liquid. I know what is it. We can convert liquid I know, into gas. I know, I know what, is, what is it called, but I don't know what is liquid converted to gas. We don't have. Yeah, you don't have. I will explain. Don't worry. I like that we can directly convert solid into gas. That can also be done, right? Hmm. Okay. Solid can be changed to liquid. Liquid can be changes, uh, changed. Uh, liquid can be changed to gas, and solid can be converted to gas. Right? Okay. Coming to our point, so a change of state is when matter in one state changes into another state. Right? Hmm. Okay. For this to uh, for this to happen, that is for this change of state to happen, what we have to do? We have to do either we have to heat that or we have to cool it. Right? Mm -hmm. Changes of state can happen when matter is heated or cooled. Okay? So, what will happen means when matter is heated, what will happen? The particles inside begin to move faster. Right? Okay? When matter is heated, the particles inside move faster. When matter is cooled, its particles move slower. Okay? Okay. Okay, so, so when matter is heated, you can give this symbol. This is you are heating it. Okay, when matter is heated, particles inside the matter move faster. Move faster. Okay, but if you cool it. Particles move slower. Okay? Okay. 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 Next. When temperature. So, uh, we will see. So, for we will see some examples. Then you can understand how the particles move faster and slower. Okay? And before that, there is one more thing. That is temperature. What is temperature? It is a measure of the average movement of particles in matter. Right? So, we are talking about the particles moving, no? That in how to measure that movement, we can give, uh, use a unit called the temperature. So, temperature is a measure of the movement of the particles. Okay. 
temperature is the average, not perfect, average measure of the movement of the particles, right? Hmm. Movement of the particles. So, so far what you have understood is when you heat a matter or when you cool a matter, there will be movement of particles. Okay? There will be movement of particles. Movement of particles. But that movement of particles may be faster or slower. It may be faster or slower. To measure this, we are using a unit called temperature. Right? Yes. Am yeah. I too fast? Huh? Am I too fast? No, okay. No, okay. you can follow, right? Mm. You can follow me, right? Okay. So to yeah, measure the yeah, temperature has two types of degrees. Celsius yeah, is used to measure the movement of the particles, right? And it, yeah. it is measured in degrees. So Celsius. it is measured in degrees that is Celsius or Fahrenheit. Okay. How is temperature measured? Celsius. How is, measure, how is this temperature measured? Celsius or Fahrenheit. So you have to put a small that degree. This is degree. So this is Celsius or it can be Fahrenheit, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next. Next. So temperature is measured in degrees with the thermometer. Okay. Temperature is measured with the with, uh, with the instrument called the thermometer, right? A cold object has a low temperature, but a warm object has a higher temperature. Right or not? Yeah, right. Okay. Here, in this, this is a cold object, so that the mercury level is somewhat here only. But it is a warm object, so it is raised to this level. Right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Whatever the, is being taken, that will rise, that metal will rise, mercury, or whatever we have taken, that will in uh, that if it is uh, uh, the object is uh, meaning it's heated because of the temperature the level will increase but if it's cold not much increase right it will show only low temperature right okay next so now suppose now you are, you pull an ice cube out of the freezer in a warm warm kitchen just we are going to see one experiment right you are pulling an ice cube out of the freezer in a kitchen. What in a warm kitchen? That is also kitchen is hot, right? What yeah. will happen? What will happen? So, uh, if you take the ice cube the from the kitchen, freezer, will be, huh? the kitchen will be warm. Kitchen? The kitchen will be warm. Kitchen will be warm. Yeah, that that I know. I'm telling kitchen is warm. So, if you take that solid ice cube tray from the freezer and you keep it in the kitchen, what will happen to the cube? What will happen to the ice cube? Mm, the ice cube... Ice cube will be... Uh, the ice cube has... Has ice condens cube? condensation. Uh, ice cube? Ice cube will do condensation. Ice cube will be? What? I can't get your point. Ice cube? Ice cube. Ice water to liquid to so, liquid to solid is. You, know, you it don't will worry. Be it, it will be freeze. It will? It will be freeze. It will? It will be freeze. You are instead of in, in you are talking not in front of the mic. You are going here and there. Sit, sit. My question is, what will happen to the ice cube? My question is, yeah, the, the ice cube will freeze. Ice cube will 
ice cube will you write I, you write right 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 the answer ice cube will right sushi right answer uh, ice cube will freeze up so you are taking that ice cube you are taking the ice cube so just we can have it this is ice cube right this is an ice cube put i here uh, i yeah, good idea so this is ice cube right so my question is, you are taking this ice cube from freezer. From yeah. freezer, you are taking that ice cube and you are keeping that in the warm kitchen. You are keeping this ice cube from freezer and you are keeping it in the warm kitchen, right? What will happen? It will, it will it will freeze it will freeze because the temperature in freezer the ice cream uh, the temperature is cool it again. Again. wait in freezer in freezer of a refrigerator the temperature is cold right okay okay but in the kitchen i have already told it's warm warm kitchen right so yeah. what will happen to the cube it will freeze Will it freeze? What will happen to the cube? Will it freeze? <laughs> no, no. It will, it will be liquid. It will be liquid. Ah, it will change into liquid. Right. Ice cube will change into liquid water. Liquid. What is that liquid form? Liquid water. Right? So this yeah. process is called what? This ice cube, it will change into liquid water. What is this process called? What is this uh, process called? You know? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Melting. Melting. Very good. What happened? And I want to put a thumbs up for you. Hand tool. What is the purpose of this tool? So you are telling it the you are telling the correct you are telling the correct answer, right? Yeah. So I, it is so I thought this is thumbs up or something like that. It's anyway, it's not like that. Anyway. Some hand is going here and there. I don't know. Okay. Anyway. So yes, as you told, it's melting. Okay. So ice cube. So this uh, this is ice cube. When you take that into warm kitchen, it will turn into liquid, right? Mm. So as liquid water cools enough, it changes state to become solid water or ice. If you take out ice cubes from the freezer, they will change back into liquid water, right or not? Right. So so what they are telling is, when when you kept that liquid liquid water into freezer hmm. in the uh, in the what is that this what is this called as this is ice cube tray right yeah okay so liquid water if you keep that in in freezer in a in a ice cube tray this liquid water this liquid water will change into ice cubes right yeah okay this process is called a freezing right okay. okay so so it is that is you are cooling it you are cooling you are cooling this liquid water so it will change into ice cubes now if you are bringing that ice cubes bringing that ice cubes into in, in, in a uh, to your kitchen to your warm kitchen 
what will happen? The cubes will melt. Miss, look at what the pea. Into liquid water. Right? Okay. Yeah. So by this, what you can understand is water can be changed into ice cubes. And ice cubes can be changed into water. Right? Yeah. Okay. Water. So by this, what you are doing, you can change a liquid into solid. At the same time, you can change a solid into liquid. Right? Am I right or not? Yeah, I am right. To change a liquid into solid, it can be done by freezing or cooling. Right? Mm. Okay. But if you want to bring the solid to liquid, you have to do heat it. During heating... Yes, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the uh, difference between... Heating and melting. Both are almost same. Both, both are same only. So, that is, if it doesn't, if it itself, it itself melts. But if you heat it, you heat it by, by a burner or something, it will change. So that is heat. You are doing the heating, but the melting is by room temperature. Because that room temperature was warm, I told, right? Because the kitchen was warm kitchen, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, the kitchen itself is warm, right? So you don't nothing, you don't need to do anything, it will just melt. But generally, if it is not melting, it will if you heat it, it will change into liquid, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. So you are clear. So suppose you read this. Suppose. Read Srishti. Suppose. Suppose you pull an ice cube out of the freezer into a warm kitchen and mm. the solid ice heats up and changes into a liquid. Some mm. changes of a state happen. Matter is cool. If, mm. if you put the solid water, the melted ice cube back in the freezer, it will return into the solid. Right? Are you clear? Yeah. Okay, next. Melting. So to melt is to read it. To melt is to change from a solid to liquid. Melting happens when matter is heated, particle of solid become less. Tightly, tightly attracted, and and um, changes to a liquid. Wait, 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 wait. So they are telling one more point. That is, what they are telling is, what they are telling is, generally in a solid, particles are tightly packed, right? In a solid. Particles are tightly packed. Okay. So, when you heat it, okay, when you heat it, what happened? What happened? Did you do anything? No. Okay. Solid. So, I have tried one more time. Solid. They are tightly packed. For example, if it is a solid, the particles will be tightly packed. There is no space. Okay. So much of attractive force between the particles, and so they are tightly packed. Right? Miss, what is this? Okay. Okay. This is solid. It, it, uh, it just vibrates. It just vibrates like, uh, like this. It doesn't change. And gas, gas, uh, like this is a glass of gas. Mm. Uh, glass of gas. Mm. The particles are inside. It moves freely. 
Ah, yeah, moves freely. Very good, very good, right. As you yeah. said, first, I mean, let me tell you what's on it. This is tightly packed, right? Tightly packed. But in liquid, they are not that much tight. No, right? no, they are not that much tight. They are just like sliding down like this, up like this. Right. What are, you are talking about liquid, right? Yeah. So yes. they are not tight. Yes. Shall I draw like this? Shall I draw for liquid? Shall I draw like this? Huh? This is liquid, right? So oh. after this place, we can't draw anything. So let me draw here, right? Like this is a solid. Inside the particles, it's mm. vibrate, it vibrate. Mm. And here is the gas. So, so solid, they are tightly packed, but in liquid, they are not that much tight, right? They are loosely packed, okay? So, when you heat the solid, the particles will not be that much uh, attraction will not be there, and it, so it will change into liquid, right? Yeah. Okay, liquid, when you heat that, that particles will be very loosely packed and it is called a gas. When you heat liquid, it will change it to gas, right? Okay, so solid, when you heat, it will change it to liquid. And the liquid, when you change that heat, it will, when you heat it, it will change it to gas, right? Inside this, yeah. the particles are gas. Particles are? Yes, inside this, it is uh -huh. gas. Tight. What are you telling? Particles are tight or loose? No, inside, oh, inside this, mm. this, inside this paper, it is uh -huh. a gas. It is a gas. It moves, okay. it, inside this, Huh. Oh, very good, very good. Right, right, right. Very good. So, what do you mean by the gas? Sushi, I can get your point. So, what is there inside that? So, you are showing on white color cover, no? So, inside, what do you mean by gas? Which gas, gas. is that? Gas. Can you give a name for that gas? Huh? Can you give a name for that gas? Uh, nitrogen. No, no, no. So you know some gases. But totally, how can you say you are showing something and what gas will be there? You are showing the paper cover, right? You are telling the gas is there so it can easily free. Like that you are telling, right? Yeah. So can you call it, call it as air? Yeah. Huh? You can call it as air, right? No. So I have some inside this little clip. Huh? I put put inside that little clip like this. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, that is liquid, right? Yeah. Oh, very good. Very good. Shristi, super. So inside that paper cup, uh, I mean paper uh, cup like that, you are uh, showing me that air is there, right? Yeah. So that is gas is there, so you can move it freely. And inside the pen. You are telling that you have put ink and that is called a liquid, right? Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Super, 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 super. Very nice. Very good. Super. And for oh. solid, yeah. and for solid, that mm. yeah, or this pencil, it is a solid. Uh, so pencil is a solid, right? Yeah. Very good. So you are, for a solid, you are showing pencil as an example, right? Yeah. Good. Very nice. Super, super, super. Good, 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 good. So, shall we go to our point now? Yeah. Okay. So, to melt means it, uh, we have to change from a solid to liquid. So, melting happens when matter is heated, right? Mm. Okay. Particles of a solid becomes less tightly packed and then solid changes into a liquid. Right? Okay. 
Mm. Next, when ice melts, what will happen? It becomes a liquid water. Like that, when spring days get warm enough, ice that formed during winter begins to melt, isn't it? Okay. When spring season comes, ice formed during winter begins to melt. Have you ever noticed that? Okay. So the melted water flows in the rivers and streams, right? Right? Okay. So what they are telling is that is in 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 during winter ice cubes will be there, right? I mean, uh, water will be in ice form. Otherwise, I will tell like that. Water will be in ice form. Okay. In during winter, water will be in ice form. Water will be in ice form, right? Right, 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 right. So, but shall I write water here? Can I write water here? No, I can write water because water, ice is one of the form of water, right? So, by this what you can understood is, all are called water only. So, ice cube is also water, it is also water, right? Okay, and if you melt it, it will, it will become liquid, that is also called water, right? And yeah. if you... If you, if the liquid, if you vaporize it, it will fall, it will change into gas that is called a water vapor. Okay. Okay. So, if this is water vapor and this is ice cube or ice and this is water. But all are the four, three forms of water. Yeah, this is the water. Three forms of water. Okay. Now, coming to our point, in winter, Ice, it will be in ice form. So, during spring season, this ice will change into water and it will flow in rivers and streams. Right? Got it? Got it? Yeah. Okay, I think by mistake, I have... By mistake, I have closed that, that thing, I think, presentation. Sorry, I'll bring that now, okay? Okay. Okay, so now you are clear there are three forms of water, right? Hmm. Okay, right, it's coming. Please wait for a minute, okay? Miss, why yes. is you are currently not sharing anything you can share? Multiple resources. What? It is something you are current, currently not sharing anything. What is your doubt? I'm, I'm bringing the PPT which I have closed by mistake, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so no need to waste time. So far, what we have studied? We have studied that there are three states of matter. Right? Okay. And one state can be changed to another state. Right? That is change of state. That is called a change of state. Right? Mm. Right? For that, if you want to change it, so if that solid changes into liquid, you have to heat it. If you heat it, the solid will melt into liquid. 
solid will melt into liquid right yeah are you clear so this is a thing we have done so far okay What happened? Yeah, I'm just telling whether if I open it, whether I can see this. Oh, yeah, I can see this. Sorry. So, okay. And so, this experiment we have done now. This experiment. So, I see. So, we have to do this experiment, right? So, this is the first stage of your book. That is, you are taking a clear plastic cup, ice cube, thermometer, marker, right? Then, what mm -hmm. you are doing? You are keeping that ice cube in that. Yes, place yes, an yes. ice cube. This is an experiment, right? Place an ice cube in a clear plastic cup. What you observe that ice cube? Touch it with your finger. Place the thermometer in the cup to measure the temperature of the ice cube. Then tilt the cup a little one side. See how ice cube moves. Record your observations about its shape and temperature, right? Next, leave the ice cube alone for about an hour. Observe it in the cup by touching it and uh, tipping it again. Measure its temperature. Record any changes in shape or temperature, right? So initially in the cup it was in the ice cube. Then it changed into liquid, right? Right? Okay. So use the marker to draw a line that show water level in the cup. Leave the cup alone for two days. Then it will change into, it, it will start vaporizing also, right? So in the explore activity, you watch solid changes in the liquid. The same. What happened? What happened? So, um, so in the explore activity, you watch the solid change in the liquid. The same kind of changes happen when you hold a chocolate bar in your warm hands, right? Have you ever mm -hmm. experienced this? The solid bar melts and forms a runny liquid. Have you ever experienced this? No. No or not? If you keep on having that solid chocolate in your hand for a long time, it will change into liquid. Have you ever noticed it or not? Yeah. It yes. can so what is the meaning? That solid? Why that solid uh, is melting? Because of what? Because your hand is warm, right? Mm. Your hand is warm. So, because of the hotness in the hand, the salt chocolate, which was in the solid form, now changes into liquid. So, it is running. The liquid starts running. Drop by drop. Right? Hmm. Okay. So, these are these things we have read today. Though. So, this is... And one more thing. What is this one? Tell me. What is this example shows? Can you tell me? Tell me, Srishti, what is this? See the picture. If you see the picture, can't you see? Can't you understand what is what this picture is? It's a candle of wax. Candle, candle. So you are heating the candle. So it changes into what? It's melting, and you can see the liquid water here, right? Hmm. So how do you get the liquid water? Because of the melting of the wax, right? For the wax to melt, you are heating that. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Next. So, metals are usually... In the next example. What is this next example is? Your vodka heats bronze metal until it melts. Right? Yeah, this is vodka. He heats up bronze metal until it melts. Then he can pour the liquid bronze into your mold to bring a shape. Right? Bringing the liquid is pouring the liquid bronze into a mold to bring a shape. So this is this is a melting process, right? Yeah. Okay, it's a melting process. So what they are telling is metals are usually solid, right? Yeah. Metals are usually solid, but if if it heated to a very high temperature, they can melt. Okay. 
they turn into liquid metal that can be poured into a mold to make metal parts right to make the metal parts it can be molded the artillery right okay or not tell me and understand or not yeah, yeah okay okay next and even magnets are solid even magnets magnet magnets correct next freezing next freezing so you know to freeze is, what is meant to freeze change from solid to liquid to solid liquid to solid so freezing happens when matter is cooled enough right yeah okay what what will happen what will happen actually during freezing you read this tell me what what will happen to the particles which particles so that particles which are in the solid part uh, mean freezing means liquid to solid right yeah when you freeze what what happens to the liquid particles they move slower and get closer to each other okay they move slower and get closer to each other and then they become so tightly attracted then the liquid changes into solid ulta how you told that solid to liquid particles tightly to loosely now loosely to tightly got it or not Got it. Got it. That is. That is when solid, which is that solid to a liquid. Okay, the tightly packed particles tightly particles. Uh, tightly packed particles on heating becomes loosely particles loosely tight i mean yes they are loose they are not tightly packed they are loosely packed so it is called a liquid they are loosely packed so it is called a liquid right now when you keep this liquid when you keep this liquid in a freezer in a freezer what will happens the liquid particles they will uh, they will move slower and get closer to each other no they will freeze huh? they will move slower liquid particles move slower and get tightly packed no means they will freeze huh they they will freeze yeah that is not a freeze that's what i'm telling during freezing what will happen they will move slower and the particles get tightly packed that is called the freezing that process is called a freezing at the time that liquid will change into solid the time that liquid will change into solid right yeah okay so it, it can be told as frozen 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 form right and frozen form is solid frozen form is solid during freezing that liquid will change to frozen form that is solid yeah huh right right are you clear yeah okay so to make a frozen juice pop what you have to do to make a juice frozen juice pop what you have to do you have to pour liquid juice into a mold and place it in the freezer right right or not right so like this like this so if you want to you have to if you want to get a frozen juice pop what you have to do You have to take that liquid and you have to keep it in a freezer. And if you keep it, liquid will change into solid, right? Like this, like this. Okay or not? Okay. So okay. 
then next last thing is last thing what we are going to study in today's class is boiling and evaporation okay yeah i know that if evaporation is a change to uh, the 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 wait 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 like tell me tell me i will wait i will wait tell me tell me good no tell me the, liquid to so uh, liquid to gas yes liquid to gas very good so matter can change from ready wait matter can change from First, read the title read the title boiling and particles inside begin to move faster right ha uh, ha uh. so when you there i can't hear you i can't hear you sushti why no here particles uh. move fast enough to break away from the other liquid particles now the particles are called gas particles right yeah okay next so so to, to boil is, wait 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 let tell me so boiling means sorry boiling means i mean evaporation means evaporation means evaporation means liquid to hmm liquid to uh, sorry liquid to gas so when you when you boil the water when you boil, boil the water the liquid water will changes into water vapor hmm water vapor this process is called evaporation evaporation okay so for this evaporation when when this evaporation process happens what will happens to the particle particles they will move faster or slower water uh, they move faster and they will become gas right yeah. okay liquid particles like this they move faster and they will become gas right yeah. okay okay no. so now you read to boil is to read it To boil, to boil is to change from a liquid to gas at liquid's boiling temperature when mm. you heat the water on a stove uh. to cook noodles mm. you are boiling it the bubbles that form in the water at the bottom of the pan are made of hot this ga gas is of hot gas called water vapor hot gas Water vapor. Water, water's boiling temperature or boiling point is at 100 Celsius to 101 Fahrenheit. Okay, if you will tell it in Celsius, it is 100 degree. But if you tell it in Fahrenheit, it's 212 Fahrenheit, right? Are clear? That is the boiling point of water. Okay. Okay. Read it. Read it. to change from a liquid to gas is a condensation condens 
evaporation uh, a gas can mm. happen by evaporation to when sunlight shines on puddles of water eventually disappear the water evaporates to evaporate is to change from a liquid to a gas below the liquid boiling temperature yeah. evaporation can take place at any temperature however evaporation is slow process compared to boiling uh, so you are, have you ever noticed that puddle will soon the puddle will soon dry up in the sunshine have you ever noticed that no i didn't so the like this have you ever noticed this is this a small puddle it is small water this water was there in the floor because of the rain this is rain water after some mm -hmm. time when the sun shines over this because of the heat of the sun this liquid water will evaporate liquid water will evaporate and it will change into water vapor okay okay it will change into water vapor okay so in this picture what they are showing they are keeping the some ice cubes they have taken a, a liquid changes into gas they are taking liquid in a, a beaker and bubbles are coming and and by that you can understand that liquid is changing into gas okay okay so what they are telling now is what is the last point is that is boiling water you can see bubbles so it means liquid water changes into gas that is like water changes into water vapor okay during this temperature it is not necessary the temperature should be 100 degrees celsius if this change occurs okay this change occurs below boiling temperature below its boiling temperature right boiling point or boiling temperature so it happens because of sun right so because of sun it will water in the puddles they will directly changes into water vapor water in the puddles they will directly change into water vapor right mm. because of sunlight sun's heat so i will draw this picture one more time like this so here sun is that right okay mm here -hmm. sun is that shall so do you want proper sun no it's okay it's okay no so this sun what color can be given for sun uh that red dot yellow is also yellow color okay 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 yeah uh, yellow color. so but so here this is what is this puddle puddle mm. so in this what is there the puddle water is there. okay okay because of the sun's heat mm. this water will change into water vapor water will change into water vapor and this mm -hmm. only forms clouds we go on contents here and it is called the clouds okay so now coming to this point the after some time you can't see any water here because everything has gone changed into water vapor no water okay no water in the puddle because if, uh, everything has changed into water vapor right yeah next last is condensation Sushi, the last part is condensation. What is condensation? Gas to liquid. Have you ever noticed this gas to liquid? No. Yes. Yeah. No. I have an example. Huh? I have an example. Well, actually, okay. You read. You read. Then you can understand. Condensation happens when matter is cooled enough, right? Okay. that is sometimes drops of water form on a mirror when you take a hot shower have you ever noticed hmm so when you take a shower with hot water 
you can see some uh, water drops can be seen on the mirror right so those are called water vapor i mean so the water has content from gas to liquid right okay yeah condensation is condensation is condensation is gas to liquid condensation is gas to liquid that is water vapor it will condense into water the condense into water okay let me see if, uh, like this that link if you are keeping a, your if you are uh, water vapor condenses into liquid liquid droplets of water so in a mirror you can see that the liquid drops like this right like this okay so let me tell another example also let me tell another example right so so yeah, have, you ever this, have you ever noticed this water vapor in the air condenses as it cools on the outside of a cold glass have you ever yeah. noticed uh, okay so which which is which has condensed to this how do we get the bubbles on the outside of this glass cup glass tumbler how did we get uh because hmm because there is the so water vapor has changed into this liquid yeah no water vapor has changed into liquid see in the in the atmosphere this is atmosphere this is this is this and all air right in air water vapor is there you know in air water vapor is there oxygen is there nitrogen is there everything is there in air right so what will happen if you keep a cup full of water otherwise if you keep ice cubes you keep ice cubes in a cup and keep it in a shelf yeah okay what will happen this water vapor no which was present in the atmosphere for yeah. this water vapor this ice tumblers outer covering is cold isn't it Yeah. So in this cold, this vapor will go and settle as drops mm -hmm. of water, right? So only you can see that droplets of water are present outside that glass tumbler. Okay, you can see drops of water on the outside of the glass. Yeah. Wait, wait. So by so what process has happened here? Condensation. Condensation. Condensation means from which state to which state? From gas state to liquid state. Gas to liquid. That's all. So in this picture, can you explain this picture to me? So, uh, look, uh, evaporation or boiling changes uh. into gas, and gas mm -hmm. changes into condensation. Mm -hmm. And freezing yes. uh, 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 solid changes to melting because it was a liquid, and then it will freeze when we put it in a freezer. And uh, the cloud has cloud is a what we call it is a gas. What we call it? Droplets. Yes. Okay. Gas. Yes. 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 Okay. Then after condensation, the gas will bring us liquid. That is called rain. So I will explain one thing to you. That is, I know, I know, I know, I know why. Because um, can you do whiteboard? Do you know how do we get rain? Yeah. Tell me. Uh, how do we get rain? Why? Ah. Uh. So because of sun's heat. Yeah. How do we get rain? No, 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 I will tell. I will tell. Tell them. Tell. The sunlight will come through here. It will. The water will evaporate, and then this. This is a cloud. So, for the cloud, it will go up in condensation, and it will put rain. And again, it will happen. This, 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 this. Yes. 
so it will form a cloud so the cloud is water particles okay mm. cloud is water particles okay the vapor and it will, uh, will settle in the cloud as water particles which will come as rain that is called condensation mm. okay so condensation is uh, vapor to water okay condensation is vapor to water but how this water first changed into vapor that was the first step right so water liquid water if it goes to gas then it is evaporation or boiling right but if the gas comes as liquid it is called condensation that is what we are getting a rain right initially that water was there after evaporation because of sun's heat it will change into liquid and uh, it will change into gas and it will it will be called as cloud the cloud oh, so many gas particles will be in the cloud then after that it will get cold and so many that particles will collide with each other and they will break come as rain so the gas comes as rain no that is called a condensation right yeah this is four types four types of rain it is cold four types of rain. Uh. yeah it is rain uh, we call it precipitation it is rain hail uh, 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 uh. rain hail very good hail and then what and then what it was uh, rain rain hail and then I don't know that to sleep. Hmm. And then snow. Snow. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now can you read the last page of this lesson? Matter. Matter uh, can change state uh, when it is it uh, is heated or cooled. Nothing uh, boiling and evaporation in. A change uh. of matter that happen when matter is heated in a freezing and condensation are changes of state that can happen when matter is cooled. We don't yeah. have this part. Okay. And one more thing, uh, Sushti. I for this today's class, I have made this PPT of only twenty-two pages, right? Yeah. So all the twenty-two pages are over, and the time is also going to get over. So, if you want that extra class today itself, or shall I take it in the next class? No, if you want, you can do it. But I don't have any portion now. That's what I'm telling. I don't have any uh, portion also. It's your wish. It's my wish. So let me take it in the next.